now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. This is like looking in a mirror for Joe Frazier. He's going up against the guy who can really bang. And this is where Frazier's bobbing and weaving and keeping those gloves up. That has to be respected. He has to pay attention to that. He already knows he has power. He has to respect the other man. Good block by Frazier. Oh, and there you go. Frazier lands the hook. And now another left. Good scoring counter punch by Frazier. Holyfield's got a tough go of it now, as you can see, swelling. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Frazier. Missed the body shot. Holy cow! Evander Holyfield's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. And now another left. Joe Frazier's defense did a good job. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with a... Oh, and there you go. And Joe Frazier's been stunned. That hook was well off the mark. Holyfield's cut man is going to need to be all over this side. The swelling seems to be getting worse. Well, it's kind of like being a gardener. You have to start getting in there before the weeds come up. You can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up. You're going to destroy those beautiful rose bushes. Well, it's the same. Got to behave like a pro, like a real fighter now. He's got to be able to have a short memory, put that aside, and go out there now and pick up the same way as he had in his mind when he came to this arena. That he's going to be the boss. He's going to be the one leaving here with a W. A series of power shots, and he is hurt. The thing here, right? A hook crashes home, and he's down. One, two, three, four. So Joe Frazier goes down and now rises to his feet. And now he has to make sure that he kills some time. Gets in close where he can smother his opponent. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Real Deal. Joe Frazier's showing that he was well-trained, utilizing the uppercut when he's chest-to-chest, -chest, shoulder to shoulder against his opponent here. Oh, you have to recognize situations, and he understands on the inside that's exactly what you should be doing. When your opponent has his gloves up, there's an opening to split the guard, especially when he's leaning forward, and he's leaning forward just a little bit. fighting two opponents, the man opposite him and his eye swelling. Yeah, but you can't panic, Joe. This is boxing, you know, this is not the opera. These things happen and champions win under these conditions. So right now, believe it or not, strategy, you got shot returning fire. Well done by Joe Frazier. That hook was well off the mark. A very crisp combination by Frazier. Joe Frazier's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still. A good two-punch combo by Real Deal. He's in a world of hurt right now, Teddy. Look at him right there. What is he going to miss? Well, the only thing... How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Yeah. One, 
and some associated with a specific city. You think Babe Ruth, you think the Bronx. You think Joe Frazier, you think a Philly fighter. You think about wars, you think about pain. You think about a fighter that brings it every second. You think about Joe Frazier. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Nice combo by Frazier. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Whoever does not make those solid agreements doesn't sign their name to the contract. You know, you get a little tired, it gets a little tough. You put your hands behind the guy, you hope the guy grabs and he goes along with it. Whoever doesn't go along with that, whoever brings their hands back and throws those punches, those two, those... That was... Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. And a big left hand by Frazier. It is unbelievable. Devastating blow by Frazier. Landing two jabs by Frazier. So now he has to position himself in the ring, every inch of that ring, where he keeps his opponent in a place where he can't throw punches towards the bad eye, where he positions himself where the good eye is eye, but still it can get nasty as the fight progresses. Blocks that punch. <laughs> up a bit, makes for a bigger flush target. Well, yeah, there's a lot of service there when you square, and he's finding that service. This isn't a bad form of defense. And he's able to land consecutive shots. Well done by Joe Frazier. Using those feet, using that jab on the outside well. And you know what? He used his head early in the fight because he went inside, which is really where he's set up for, and he got it. Frazier. Oh! And Joe Frazier. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? A knockout, unable to beat the count of 10. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. Real deal. Evander Holyfield, your winner by knockout victory. I feel like I just came out of the movie theater, Joe, and I did not expect that ending. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.